So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about the original sequels, the better sequels, the Heir to the Empire trilogy of novels that included Thrawn to be the main villain. So without anything further to say, let's get started and let's talk about the plot of the Thrawn to the Empire. Emperor Palpatine's last Grand Admiral, Thrawn, re-emerged from the unknown regions five years after the Battle of Endor. He successfully united the Imperial Moth's leaders, though they granted him only nominal control over military forces due to their fear of the New Republic and each other. With just 12 Star Destroyers at his disposal, of which he could confirm the loyalty of only six, Swan assured Captain Kalad Pelion that the initial stages of his campaign would require minimal warships. His first objective was the Oprah Sky Libraries, where his disguises uncovered the locations of Palpatine's secret storehouse, Mount Tantis on Wayland. Here he acquired Spartan cloning cylinders to grow crews for his fleet and formed an alliance with the deranged clone of Jedi Master Joris Symbioth. Utilizing hit-and-run strategic strikes, Thrawn plunged the New Republic into chaos, mirroring the Rebel Alliance's tactics from the Galactic Civil War. He swiftly advanced through the Outer Rim before setting his sights on the Core Worlds and the New Republic's capital, Coruscant. So yeah, here you have a small summary of the plot of the Heir to the Empire trilogy, and I would highly recommend you either go and listen to it at Audible or... You can also just go and pick it up and own it uh, in physical copy and read the book. It was also made into a comic, but I think that's a little bit expensive now. I don't know how, but it's expensive. But yeah, anyways, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.